So just as a quick context for this show, they work with Artists That Work, which is a program that empowered artists to continue to be um, creatives in their field and work with social impact organizations. Leslie with IPS, Institute for Public Strategies, and Natalia with Friends of Friendship Work. This exhibition was also funded by Stop the Hate Grant, which is a grant given by the state of California. It started as a response to anti, a rise of hate crimes that happened during the pandemic, and unfortunately, they continue to, to happen today, three years later. So with that, I think I'll pass it over to Leslie to talk a little bit about our project. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Leslie Villaseñor. It's a pleasure for me um, to have you all here. So my project is focused on the OERP um, Park, which is um, the Otay Valley Regional Park. One of the things that I noticed when I was working in this area is that many people didn't know about this park in the community, even though it's right there open for everyone to just visit, go hide, you know, paint. So what I did with my project is that I created um, some botanical illustration workshops in which we will go to the park once a month and just, you know, making people um, learn about the, the history of the park and how they can contribute to, you know, make it known and uh, make it more alive as well. Thank you so much for listening to my family. <laughs> for being here. It means the world to me. Um, if we haven't met before, my name is Natalia Ventura and I'm an artist and activist from Chula Vista. Uh, I spent this past year as an Artist at Work Fellow, which has been a dream come true for me, as I've gotten to mix my passions for art and activism here in my own community. I also dream of a world free of walls from Palestine to Mexico. just about my work. It's a reflection of the community that's here in this room, of artists and activists that are fighting for more peace and love in our world. I felt called to use my art to grieve a lot of the painful things I witnessed this year, such as the 30-foot walls being constructed through Friendship Park and the migrants being detained between walls without shelter, food, or water as they await asylum processing. And thank you for being here.